Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and uh, in this uh, Laravel project, till now we are completed our login page, header and footer and some routing and with the database configuration. And in this video, we are going to complete our login process. So we will enter email address and uh, password here. Then we will check it with the database. If everything is fine, then we will set it in the session also and uh, every time when you just user will uh, try to use this website we will just check that if user is uh, logged in then user should not uh, see this page because if a user is already logged in then he cannot see login page again and again right and yes if user is logged out then he can just watch this page so we will just uh, cover all of these things and uh, these are the steps for uh, our complete login process first of all we need a user controller then we need a route for it we will submit the form and uh, we need a uh, one more product controller so that uh, we can redirect after login and we need a middleware and uh, we will register this middleware and as well as we will write some code inside the middleware for check the session right so now let's start with the user controller and just write here php artisan make controller controller name is let's say user controller hit enter now we have a controller right so let's uh, just jump on this controller and uh, let's make a function inside it so let's say my function name is uh, login right and it will have a parameter name of request so that it can just get the data from the form and this para these parameter will be a request type and for a moment so that we can check that everything is working fine or not just write here request input so that we can just check the data what he is actually expecting and getting from the form right and now let's uh, create a route for it so that let's jump on a web.php import it use app http controllers uh, controllers then user controller right and let's create a path for it route and uh, we need to use here post and one more thing now I'm just going to put here uh, product path on a home so that we can uh, just uh, land and we can see that the uh, our e-commerce website home page right because uh, login is not necessary for every time it will need only when we just we will check right check out the uh, and uh, make the payment right so just simply write here user controller and uh, it it is a class so that in the array second parameter we can just simply write here index oh it uh, f our function name is login here right so just make it login and uh, let's uh, just load the login on a login page so now what we can see here whenever i'm just going to load it I can just see that method is not uh, uh, used because uh, actually we are uh, not using home page for now and uh, we will show a product page here right so for a post request we also need a login route and uh, our page will be open on a login so just simply write here login here right so now uh, everything is fine here so now let's open our form which is inside uh, resources view then login and uh, let's uh, just modify something here like first of all i just want to change your name to a login right and uh, then uh, we need to put here action so my action will be uh, login method will be post right all right so one more i need that thing is uh, csrf token right and uh, let's apply some name to these fields like name is email and here we'll put a name password as a name password right so our form is uh, i think completely ready so now let's uh, try to run it at anil at the rate test.com something and password one two three four 
five or something right let's submit it okay so this is not submitting properly let me check what's wrong with it so i think we don't need this slash here and uh, just uh, simply run it again right some username and some password and now we can see that we are on a uh, our controller log uh, user controller right but now we need to just check that the email address and password should be matched with the database right so now let's check it go to the user controller and just import use app models and uh, here we can write here user model right you can find inside the models directory and now what i need to just check that just remove it from here and just write here user colon colon where uh, email uh, sh should be matched inside uh, a database so just write here dollar request email right so and we can just get our first data let's see what we are actually getting from here okay so uh, now let's just use the actual email address so which is anel at the rate sidhu.com anel at the rate sidhu and password 12345 right now you can see that we are getting the information but we are not able to get the password right so how we can match the password for that let's uh, go on the users and uh, just remove the hidden field from the password right let's check again now we are getting the password also great now we can match it so again come back to the controller and take this data inside a user variable or any variable whatever you want and now just write here if dollar user is uh, blank or hash uh, hash is basically used for encrypt and decrypt the password and we already used it uh, uh, inside our seeding if i just want to show you here right just open seeders user seeders here it is right so here when we just uh, insert the password then we use the make hash hash make and now we will use uh, check hash right so first of all we need to import it and now let's uh, just simply write here hash check and uh, check function actually have the two parameters one which we are actually getting in a request variable password and uh, second one is basically dollar user which is actually coming from the database right so just write here dollar password like this and if uh, there is something wrong then we can just simply write here username or password is not matched right else we can just simply write here else also right and just uh, return here uh, redirect on a home page but we don't have any home page for a moment where we can redirect it right we don't have any route for that let's create a uh, product controller hit enter now let's uh, create a route and something for this one also so just create a function index and we can just simply put here uh, some text here like uh, return welcome to product page we will design it in the next video because now we are actually finishing our uh, uh, user functionality right so uh, sorry login functionality so now just simply use here uh, controller and product controller and let's make a path for it 
and uh, again copy it for moving fast and uh, we can just set a home path for it with the get request now we have a get method also so we can redirect on a uh, get request right but we need to do one more thing which is uh, we need to have to set the uh, session right so just simply write here request then session and with that session just simply put here some data like i'm just going to put here inside the user key and just put here user data right like this so everything is fine uh, just uh, let me check login with it let let's put put here password also with the username and now we can see that we are we are on a okay so something is not matched according to him so let me check what's wrong with it yep I don't need to use here dollar password I just need here password right so just put again and password one two three four five again that's the issue so for the debugging purpose we can just simply return here dollar user and password right so password is working seems fine here so uh, 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 yep my bad actually i just need to go inside this condition if there is a no information is user right so now it will work fine so now you can again my bad okay let me refresh it once yes i need to check the end condition with the same case also and uh, now I got that login does not exist mm, nice because I have to use here index function uh, sorry guys uh, really sorry for these kind of uh, stupid things sometime I do actually when it's a late night for me right okay so now you can see that everything is working fine but I can again go on the login page this should not be happen because if I am already logged in I cannot see login page again till I am not going to log out right so hi, how can I stop it for that I need a middleware so just write here php artisan make middleware and uh, my middleware name is let's say user auth or something right so now we have a middleware so when you creating the middleware you need to just uh, do some things here with it first of all we need to register it right uh, let me just open middleware first of all right so let's uh, register it first inside the kernel.php so i can just simply register it uh, at the last if i want right so but what i actually need i need to add here app HTTP okay let me just uh, copy it right this is a similar thing and uh, with that I need to just do one more thing uh, which is I just uh, move it from here right uh, which is I need to actually import the session also uh, before this uh, user auth right so uh, let me just copy it and uh, again using your sessions session we can use the middleware and we have a start session right and we need only one uh, slasher so everything is working fine now let's uh, just go to this middleware and here we just need to check here if if dollar request path uh, is equal equal to login right and dollar uh, request session 
uh, has session is actually a function right so I can use here like this has uh, user session right then what we can do we can return redirect on home page right so let me check uh, everything should be working fine okay mm. um mm, 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 mm. yes actually i just forgot to use here class i just remember that and now we are on the welcome page so now let's try again with the login we cannot go to the login page because our session is already set if you want to see the login page you need to open in cognito mode right so let's uh, go for a login and once you are just successfully logged in you, again you cannot see the login page until you are going to log out right so just simply put here and say do and just put here one two three four five enter it now you are on the, uh, logged in and if you would just want to try with the login or something then you cannot go on a login page right because uh, you can just go on your login page after logout but uh, in what how we can log out this functionality we will implement in the next video so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box bye bye welcome ah one more thing before just going to see go uh, i actually just need to just comment my commit my code to my github repository right so that you can just use it so just simply use here git commit and uh, simply we can use here login done or something we use git push and i can just write here uh, my username and uh, password also right so just go on a github link and here if you want to check that we have just updated our ecom portal now and let's let's check out that there is code or we have a code or not just go inside the controllers and here you can see that we got a user and product controller everything so thanks for watching this video please subscribe my channel if you have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box bye bye take care